Well, hello everyone. Well, last night on Memorial Day Eve, I put together this really cool classic TV tennis uh, video game with analog bats from Veloman, model MK MK one MK one ninety one, and it took me about a couple hours to build. Well, of course, you know I was chatting with people as I was building this, so I was kind of distracted. But you know, overall, it's it's not a bad kit. It's very straightforward. The instructions are very well laid out. Uh, the only problem I really had was seeing some of the values on the resistors and the little uh, uh, capacitors and stuff. I had to use a magnifying glass because these old eyes don't work as good as they used to. But it's actually a really straightforward kit. Uh, I got this from Amazon. I'll put a link down in the show notes. If you want to go buy one of these, it's about $35 free shipping if you got Prime. Uh, like I said, it takes about an hour to two hours. I guess if you're not talking like I was, I probably could have done this in, in about an hour put together. Really gives you some uh, you know soldering skills going on and everything. It's a fun kit to put together. Plus, another thing that's cool about this kit is it has a single player Pong version on it. So you can play against the computer. That is cool. So you don't need a second player. I really like that. It's pretty awesome. So let's open the thing up here. It's already been put together. I put it together on the live stream last night. And you look at the manual that it came with. Shows all the resistors. Gives you their number on the board. Actually tells you the color code of the resistor. Shows you how to solder the components on. How they should look. Trimming off the excess. It's a very nice laid out instruction manual. I mean, if you have a uh, someone who wants to get into electronics and learn how to assemble things and, and solder and stuff, this might be something fun to do. I've seen some other Pong kits out there that use just the tactile switches for up and down. I was going to pick up one of those to make a video, but I decided, you know, this one has analog bats. And I didn't realize it had a, a single player version on it either. That was a bonus. So I really like this kit now. And it shows a picture of the completed console on the back. It's got composite output. You can select either NTSC or PAL with a little jumper. It takes two AA batteries. So let's take a closer look at the little unit itself. Out of the box. So right here we have our controllers. They're hardwired to the little console. So we have our little potentiometer there. We have a button on the back. That's the slam button. It's also the start button as well. So we got two of those. They're kind of neat looking. It'd be kind of cool to have cases made for these. But also shows how the ball reacts depending on where you hit it on your paddle. So right here, as soon as the ball touches your paddle, if you hit the smash button, it'll shoot that ball right across the screen. It's pretty cool. So here is the... Let's turn this around this way. So here's the circuit board itself. Like I said, it's laid out really nice. I mean, you can see all the different components are labeled on here. Then we have our on-off button here. You know, click it once real quick to turn on the machine. Hold it for a long period of time to turn it off. And you also use that save button if you just keep clicking it to select the different modes. There's some one-player modes, and then there's two-player modes. You know, different bat sizes, things like that. Power on LED. Here's our composite out and our, and our audio out. And we take our batteries right here. Pretty awesome. So, let's put some batteries in this. I'll just stick a couple batteries in here real quick. Right there. And we stick a battery over here. Just like this. Boop. And we'll go to my main screen and we'll try out some of the Pong games. Okay. Start recording. Push the button, just one quick press. Power LED comes on, and boop! We have a screen. Awesome! So here's the one controller you can see. That's awesome. I, I love it that it's an analog control. There's my button back there. So let's look at the different modes. We have game number, well, that's on four right now. We've got game number one, which is what's over here. Game number one, which is large paddles, regular play. Game number two, smaller paddle, paddles, regular speed. Game number three, large paddles, faster ball speed. 
smaller paddles, fast ball speed, and then extremely fast ball speed with small paddles. <laughs> then we have the two-player games. And it's the same options for those, for two players to play. So we're going to play a regular game, a Pong, against the computer here. So here we go. Get ready to press the button and start. Oh, I can't believe I missed. Ooh, see if I use the smash button. Oh, missed it. Oh, got to hit just right to use the smash button. Nope. Ah! Woo! Computer's not too bad of a player. Oh, he's kicking my butt. It's three to zero. There we go. Got the smash to work. I mean, you got. There we go. Get hit just right. See if I can smash it by him. Oh my gosh, I am so bad at this game. I'm not scored yet against the computer. There we go. Got one, finally. Oh! Yeah! Thanks for some good practice, though. Well, the computer won. <laughs> so cool. So let's try another mode here. We'll go to mode two, small paddles. Let's go to a faster ball. We'll do mode three, which is a faster, faster ball speed. Holy cow! Whoa! <laughs> oh, jeez. This is insane. Wow. Woo! Let's go check out mode 5, which is small paddles, insane ball speed. Okay, here we go. Comes mode five. Whoa! <laughs> Dang, gone. Yeah, I'm not going to score at all against that guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then we have our two player games. So I can use the other paddle over here. Oh, that's one player still. There we go, there's two player. So now I got control of the other paddle. Go boop, boop, whoops, boop, boop, boop. It's kind of hard to play by yourself, though. <laughs> Which I'm really glad that uh, you can play the computer. That's that's pretty awesome. So anyway, that is the Villaman Classic TV Tennis Game with analog bats. Really cool electronic kit. I highly recommend it. It was a lot of fun to put together. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.